Um, one of my favorite designers, Demna Vasilia, presented his new collection for Balenciaga in Paris via an amazing video. One of the best fashion videos or runway show videos I've seen during the season. Um, just amazing. Again, I've got a bit of a hard on for Demna. I'm a big fan of him. You know, of course, from the work that he did at Vetema that sort of blew up and shook the fashion industry to its core. And of course, he's now gone on to Balenciaga and established himself in a really clear and identifiable way um, over there, considering the heritage of Balenciaga. But he's just, he's just gone about it in his best way possible. And I think I was thinking about it earlier, like, why do I love what he does so much? It might stem from my, obviously, love affair with Techno and the fact that he kind of you know which i guess you know it's a it's an american export you know obviously techno was birthed in detroit but then it was completely changed to some other thing when it comes to europe the aesthetic of obviously living in europe the political socio economical landscape of europe and parts of central europe eastern europe um you know western europe it's all it's all kind of melded together and it basically speaks to me more than any other fashion designer out there because it's a particular aesthetic that isn't highfalutin it's not aristocratic it's not bourgeoisie it's really real it's to the streets again at the beginning it was a bit whitewashed don't get me wrong that was a bit of an issue but now it kind of feels like he's really coming to his own and he is perfectly the best representation of what exactly happens on the street on the runway he does it in such a really acute clever way and this is for somebody that i think who looks like he's quite a recluse right he just lives in his home in switzerland um switzerland isn't you know switzerland isn't um like a scene out of flipping lehan or something right it's a fairly nice place right and um, people there earn a pretty good wage i'm not too sure how he has such a good ability to be on the button to kind of catch the cultural zeitgeist and present on the runway in some way shape or form but he always does it i don't know how he does it maybe it's just his genius but he's like similar to Hadi Slimane in that regard where he's able to kind of synthesize the energy of the youth and present it out there on the runway and he did a really really good job with his uh spring 2021 collection here with Balenciaga and i read a bit of the review here from Vogue by Sarah Mauer who agrees with me about all the good work that she's, he's doing so it says it continues here it says hope it's the last thing to die. That's the Russian saying. That's the smart, the smasheroo of a remark. Demna Vasilia threw into a long debrief about how he got himself into making of the Balenciaga collection and video, which aired on the Paris Fashion Week schedule today. He said, you know, I couldn't wait not to do a show. It didn't feel right with the way things are. So we made a music video, he said, which is exactly what it is. It's brilliant. The soundtrack is, I want to see, I should have been dancing when I was watching it live streaming. He continues here. My husband recorded that 80s track, Corey Hart, I want to wear sunglasses at night because, you know, there is any is there anything more absurd in fashion than that it's so allegorical you know there's fashion going on and it's out there searching in the dark at the moment not seeing perfect encapsulation of a of a, of a collection right perfect perfect encapsulation of a, of a collection but he continues but wait there's nothing disturbing about this video au contraire Vasilia's tribe of them and nighttime people are each captured as if heading somewhere with a purposeful step we see them as they walk along the rue de rivoli um is that rivoli uh past the tuileries gardens i'm um, embodying exactly the inevitable core of the type of people who turn heads after dark on the streets of paris we clock them we check them out their clothes how they put them on together each to their own they feel real a, a visceral vi, vi, vicarious vision of the modern glamour playing out against a backdrop of paris we all love to be part of again yeah and that was honestly one of the things that i kind of um i had to sort of admit to myself i remember when i was on the outside right, of the fashion world sort of like you know mindlessly just like saying oh that's that's overrated she's not good that's crap all this sort of stuff on the outside when i finally got the chance to go to fashion week in paris especially for men's when i got a chance to see i don't know it might have been the second uh off-white show right i don't know what it, which one it was men's show back in the day it was the one where ian connor ran down the runway with virgil and kind of pulled him down the runway right so whatever that show was i remember going there and being around all the street style people being around the industry seeing all that buzz outside of a show going into it the energy the music the emotion the textures the sound seeing stuff move because that's the first time i saw stuff move right because seeing it on video on youtube is one thing but actually seeing it in real life you get a better appreciation for what the designer is trying to do what story they're trying to tell and just what you like right you just you, you end up liking other things that you wouldn't have liked if you just saw it on a 2d image on your computer so 
that's one thing I definitely realised. It's like, wow, this place is flipping cool, isn't it? Again, it's not the best place to go. It's not like a Berlin where you can just turn up and sort of find the fun. You have to be plugged in when you go to Paris, unfortunately, which I had the fortunate uh, possibility of doing so because of my work. But I did enjoy it more than any time that I enjoyed it because I got a chance to see how the other side lived. I was like, whoa, it's what people get up to when they go to Fashion Week. No wonder people come here all the time. No wonder people are like, you know, planning all year about what outfit they're going to wear. No wonder they sort of, you know, eat nothing but carrots and bloody celery sticks for the next six months because they want to fit into certain garments. Like, this is sensational. And he has a really good way of sort of like, um, representing that in a really real way without it seem a little bit too bourgeoisie a little bit too you know nose up their ass or whatever it just seems like real right it seems like the actual people that you'd want to meet when you go out to paris like similar to like you know the people that go to that possession techno party um that they throw in the outskirts of paris so it continues something happened to vasilia during lockdown the very man who plunged his fashion show audience into a terrifyingly apocalyptic show experience last season um has come back with his head a far more optimistic place he said because someday we will be out of this he imagined a man who leaves the house near the site of the Cristobal mansion a black guy sitting out in an oversized navy suit wrap around shades and what looks like to be a sweater dropped off his head which is awesome another addition I'll show you later but it is a ready made Balenciaga sex story that's going to be really that's going to be really popular too so definitely uh, keep an eye out for loads of your favourite K-pop stars and other stars and other industries deciding to wear that etc it's going to be really cool it's sort of like a you know the, you know when you go out and it's raining and you got to jump and put it over your head you sort of turn that into an actual hat etc I don't know if it's got like a little hat you put on there whatever it may be it looks really cool so Gavas uh, related he said he walked through the night going through lots of changes morphing into he her him them and they end up meeting as friends going to a party or a club maybe and everyone is without marks that's the hope and that's what I got from it too when I watched it because towards the end you see them all meet up and stuff right and you're like bloody hell man like that's what you miss forget all the parties forget all the amazing you know things that i was doing prior to lockdown but i remember today thinking about you know going to open galleries and going to uh viewings going to conferences uh going to lectures uh you know open workshops hanging out with friends in the street and just gallivanting around being lads that's what I miss and that's what you kind of see from the collection that Balenciaga presented. So let's go through a bit of the shows here. So let's not make it too boring and read all the text. So this is the first look again with the the, the, the sort of jumper over the head. Um, I'm not too sure how that clips on, whether or not it's a hat that you actually put on itself, but I love it. What a great accessory to use. And knowing them that it probably might be a jumper too that you actually wear, you know, it might have a multi uh, functionality attached to it. Um, I love, love, love this overcoat. But it's, um, Demna knows how to make a good overcoat. That's one thing you're definitely going to get from him. Good, um, long, uh, drapey overcoats. I love this sort of, you know, distressed um, bits at the bottom here. Um, you know, this idea that you, I think he says further on in the article, like this idea that you can have these items for a long time or that I think he was saying about, he's got a hoodie that he's kept for like for 15 years. So maybe that's the inspiration there. You've got this amazing detail too with the sort of roll neck, turtle neck that you can wear as a face mask. I think, um, was it, was it um, Fashion Nova or a pretty little thing? They made a dress recently that sold out in minutes. A sort of like short dress that you could basically pop over your face to put the face mask on. Um, this outfit is incredible. Great heels, of course. I love the choke on that one. Again, raw hems on the bottom of the trousers there and the shirt. You've got the front cases that they do really well with. The all white look again is stupendous. The tracksuit look here is great. I'd wear the fuck out of this. This is the artist woman, right? Yeah. Um, really, really great. I love the shades as well brilliant looking shade but that tracksuit is incredible um i'd wear the fuck out of that i love that as well oh, that cape is it like what is it like a cape it reminds me of what some or something um i don't know what the, yeah it reminds me like of an, of an anorak i guess but it's extended right and an, an oversized anorak that looks incredible that is really really cool and again you've got this amazing um functional shirt as well that you can wrap around your waist You've got this amazing red look that looked really good actually moving in the video. And again, all these items, all these looks look way better in the actual video itself, right? That they put together for the collection. Um, again, the sandals look incredible. Good dress here. Zoom out a little bit. Great overcoat as well. Jacket. And they always, always do a good jacket. And then I think, what's the other pieces I think I liked here? There was a, oh yeah, this one. This is the one. This is incredible. So you've got this sort of uh, deconstructed 
oh sorry reconstructed um what would you call it it reminds me of uh, there was like a fear of god jacket they did a few seasons back that was in, that was kind of all denim that went past your knees and it had this it's kind of like an uh, it's kind of like an oversized or yeah an oversized denim jacket in some way shape or form that might be it as well i love the addition of the camo in between here and a little bit of black detail here at the bottom as well great 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 jackets and i always like the fact that all the, most of them because i've got a couple british Isle jackets they always have big pockets I'm not sure if it's the fact that you can, similar to Rick Owens, where you can like slip in a sandwich and a book, wherever it may be, but I love the idea that you can have these big warm pockets that you can put your hands in. Awesome, again, great bags and accessories there. Great overcoat. This leather jacket is insane. I can't even start on the details. Absolutely insane. They flipped it inside out, outside in, upside down. Looks incredible. Again, a good coat here. Good overcoats again great jean jackets just brilliant 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 items from them going forward in this collection and then we've got some of my key detail pieces i'm going to mention here moving on quickly let's go there you actually see some of the bits better in actual on these instagram stories via the instagram right we've been saying so go instagram officially there's better deeds see how how, how much better this stuff looks you know in context like you know you see someone wearing that outfit in the streets of paris you would definitely be turning your head thinking fuck what's that looks so so good man and i think there's a pair of sandals here i want to show you quickly i think that obviously the trainers look really cool i'll show you those in a minute but there's a pair of sand in what was it da, 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 I haven't showed them no it wasn't on here was it was it there yeah look how good the trainers look this is a new runner that's obviously going to take over the street so definitely be, um be willing to see those out everywhere they've sort of got like a weird spring system in the back here i think i'll show you on this other instagram here from the Vasilia daily page that I recommend that you follow. This is a bit of the music video. Looks so good, mum. move on i'll show you that let's show you the trainers there we go there it is here da, 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 da. basilia daily those are the shoes look how great these look they look incredible and blends yoga x pandas are shaping up to be the sneakers of the season they are in it right x pandas they the conceptual sneakers with norm core ascents inspired by running shoes i am beige with a surprising suspended heel to ensure optimal comfort and cushioning already a collector's item Look at those. At each show, for Balenciaga, Demna creates the new It sneaker at all its fans for spring, summer. This is the one. Yeah, that is amazing. I'm all over that one, isn't it? That's probably the best thing they've done since the Triple S, I think. That, it looks great. Um, of course, I think it just, I, I think the spring is a little bit, you know, unnecessary because I'm sure once you actually put your foot in it, you you know, the, the, the heel just returns back to normal. So it's sort of like, you know, has whatever shape it's got there, but they look great, don't they? I wonder what the pricing will be like they look amazing i can't wait to see what the other colorways of those look but yeah what are my favorite collections going forward man honestly um easily easy one of my favorite collections for my best for one i think one of the best designers out there on the scene at the moment demna basilia for balenciaga take it balenciaga sorry balenciaga check it out don't be stingy spend some money with him and even these shoes too like these are great in it it's sort of like well, what did they, they remind you of what um these sort of polygon shaped booties are so good great pants as well great shape he does that often too and i love the fact that he, he refuses to do like cuffed bottoms on his jersey bottoms that's one of my pet peeves most companies have these sort of bottoms and they always kind of cuff them at the bottom or something or and unnecessary zip but he just has them you know draped down at the bottom really easy really comfortable to wear i love them love every bit of it and of course great casting like look at that colorway and those trainers with the with the black and yellow they look awesome in it you can't tell me that that's not good that looks brilliant so 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 good i can't wait to see more of this in stores when they're out and of course he's got the jumper over the head again i'm not sure if it clips on or stuff or if it's something that you actually wrap around your head how it sits on your head properly but i love it i love that little detail i can't wait to see um people wearing that in the scene when that comes out um next season <laughs> 